Welcome to my latest case, the Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either Junior or Senior to Dear Ned. Well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Room service menu. All right. Hey Frank, it's Nancy. Hey Joe, pick up. Actually, he may not want to talk to you. Why not? Because you get to solve a mystery at an amusement park. He's so jealous he could spit. Hi, this is Joe. Hey Joe, it's Nancy. I don't want to talk to you. What did I tell you? Oh, I'm just kidding. Pardon me for a second, I gotta go spit. Quit fooling around, Joe. She's calling long distance, remember? Sorry. So what's going on? I haven't been out to the park yet. I'm kind of planning my strategy. Any suggestions? Yeah, do not eat a hot dog before you ride anything that spins around. Joe. One of the first things I think I'll do is check out the roller coaster. That's what I'd do. See if you can take a look at the blueprints for the coaster first. You know, so you can tell if anything was monkeyed with when you check out the tracks. Any suggestions as to my next move? You can't very well investigate a haunted carousel without actually seeing it, now can you? Any suggestions as to my next move? You can't very well investigate a haunted carousel without actually seeing it, now can you? I better get going. Call us anytime. Take care. Rolf Kessler.
the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. Hello? Yoo-hoo! The whale is waiting! Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. That's a relief. It's too early in the day to go sick in the cops on anybody. I'm Harlan Bishop. Are you the only security guard on duty now? I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed, even agreed to a pay cut. So you're not intimidated by all this cursed stuff? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal, and frankly, neither do I. What about the roller coaster? Accidents happen. Of course, Ingrid will tell you that these so-called accidents are really the result of the park's karma getting bent out of shape by negative energy or some such gobbledygook. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky new age psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. Why's that? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store, department store, you know, as a security guard in Flemington, not around here. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? I got the tape right here all queued up. I'll see you around. Go get him. Hello? 
Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. It's locked. This takes an employee access card. This takes an employee access card. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. Yes, Ms. Santos wants me to have the run of the park. You're wasting your time, you know. What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Sounds like you're not much of a believer when it comes to curses. I just know greed when I see it, that's all. I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Is Ms. Santos aware of the way you feel about her? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. 
Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. But before I forget, here's your access card. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Why? Is he temperamental? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. It's locked. This takes an employee access card. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Uh-oh. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Looking for someone? If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. I'm sorry, Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm helping Ms. Santos discover what's behind these carousel hauntings. Okay if I ask you some questions? Sure. Oh, my. You've got B3 issues. I do? Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Harlan Bishop mentioned that some of your beliefs concerning food were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. Are you sure you're an engineer? Got a Bachelor of Science degree from Ohio State and everything. I like surprising people. Unpredictability is what makes life... Interesting.
Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. Why would someone steal a carousel horse? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place. Which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. No big deal. It's locked. This takes an employee access card. It's locked. It's locked. Haven't heard from Joy yet. Out. I haven't finished repairing this yet. Who are you and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that. Over here, on top of the cabinet. Warmer. Warmer. Keep going. Over here. Please identify yourself.
I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles, the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. What's a Magnificent Memory Machine? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? Elliot Chen is kind of upset with me. I need to write her a note to call him. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. I should leave a note for Joy. Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. You know, I just had a thought. There's a newspaper article and photo in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. I may have seen them. What are they about? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Maybe that's why someone stole that carousel horse, because there were jewels hidden inside it. My thoughts exactly. I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is K.J. Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator, doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Well, I try. Has he always been behind? I guess he was doing okay up until about a month ago. Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye-bye like soon. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting again? 
I got the tape right here all queued up. I'll see you around. Have fun. Hello? This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said a concern that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Well, I was thinking maybe the reason that horse was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove two weeks ago was because somebody thought there were jewels from that heist inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Died in prison about a year ago. I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. I'm sure Paula will be very appreciative. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. I really do need to get this work done. Right. Sorry. Still on the case, I see. Thanks for your help. No big deal. <laughs> 